Hi right, YouTube, uh, welcome today. I'm going to show you how to set up the whole tablet thing and also it's very interesting, the sim dashboard. Um, because I have not really seen videos on the setup of this sim dashboard, I literally had to figure out it myself. But if you are a lazy person as I am, usually you don't want to figure out everything you yourself you just want to look up a video and see how it's done and follow along exactly as the video does so i am going to show you the application where to download it so here is the two websites for the sim dashboard um so sim dashboard you just get the app you download it and install it and then for the scrappy uh, one is the github Everything will be in the link uh, in description and below. Um, so basically, you just download it here for Windows. Um, they have also all the different um, things on how to download on a Linux machine on a Mac OS. Um, also, I think there is the descriptions on how to install it. But like I said. I will also then show you, um, link the video um, down below for how to do the, um, to let it read the other games. Uh, so basically, I am going to show you now. So what you see here is the sim board in action. You see, I have got two different sim setups. If you go here to the side, you can see the different games you can have it. But what I want to say is uh, get the pro version. You see here I switch over to the Aero Truck Simulator that I set up. So basically you can set up like different designs uh, if you want to. Have more, you can have up to as many as you like. Uh, you just click off and then you scroll to the next one. And at the top you click the little uh, edit button and down by the plus button you say add new design and then and well add widget and install then you go to the community and then you'll see this a uh, bunch of different um things you for your preference there's maps there's a whole dash there's a dash with the maps uh, there's like full uh, ets all buttons there's for ets ets and ats there's the dashboard. There's even a vertical one for like phones. If you want to use the phone vertically. Uh, there's a nice ATS one. I'm going to install it now. And I'll show you also how it uh, works. So basically once you have installed it. It said please check that you've. You know please note that all the buttons are correctly set up accordingly. So how you do that is you click on the button. Um. I'm clicking at miss here yeah, you click on the button you see the little tray icon where you edit it and then there basically where the key function is you just change the key accordingly to what you want and what you like and yeah like i said this is for a different uh for all different kinds of games and all that stuff and you can make it full screen and then uh top bar and bottom bar is not in the way and it's fully functional and fully usable I will show you now how it looks in game. I also will show you quickly how do I capture the tablet. So the program is called, it's a GitHub project basically. So you unstore, uh, um, not un, in, you unzip it into a folder you like. I just uh, unzipped it to the desktop. Then you make sure your tablet is connected via cable. There is other ways you can share your screen on um, if you have a laptop and you can do the mirror cost. But because my PC, um, if I go to the project, uh, no, no, no. If I go to project settings, I just can't type. <laughs> uh, project, so like projection settings. What my system says is I can't install it. Uh, even though uh, I go to apps and add features, my my PC is not built for wireless PC. It's directly connected to the LAN. Um, but once you've un uh, unzipped it, put it into a folder you like, make sure the tablet is plugged in, in with a cable, then you just run it. It will do its own thing. 
Sorry, yeah, future marks here. Um, he forgot to mention something to you guys. <laughs> so basically, if you have installed Scrappy and you're running it and it doesn't work, um, just make sure if you plug in your make sure if you plug in your tablet uh, via USB and you get this app option, uh, you don't have to worry about this um, very much. The charge only then. Only make sure that the USB the the debug mode is on that why that way the the computer with different applications like scrappy would read it you'll get a little prompt up on the screen to allow it you can even say trust this device for future reference so every time you open scrappy and the tablet is plugged in or the phone is plugged in it will automatically open as is but on on with the video there you go See, there's the whole tablet now on your desktop Then basically what you can do is you can go to OBS and window capture so I will be with you guys just now I don't know if it did pop up on screen oh like yeah there a little it did um sorry I just quickly went over to my OBS and see it popped up so basically you can just move it to another monitor move it out the way minimize this and close I will be with you guys just now in ATS and ETS to show you how it works. Okay, we are in the game. It has. It will also pick up. Um, you. What you also need to do is. I completely forgot about this step. I am very sorry. So you also download the um, the sim dashboard on your computer. Um, what I did is um there's also a video on it i will probably link it down below very good video on how to explain if this doesn't show a little, little green but if this shows little x or something you don't have to worry you just click here configure i think here so you just say modify game for telemetry and then that will basically be a green check mark basically it talks to the tablet um sim dashboard but I do recommend getting the pro version because on the tablet, um, well, not on the PC, but on the tablet, get the pro version. Because if you don't have the pro version, you can't have more than three buttons. And you can also just add one or two games. I'm not sure. But I got the pro version. Uh, it's very, it's, it's not that expensive at least. So, um so yeah we have the truck so i have set it up accordingly if you go click on the screen okay, so if you have it in full screen just double tap it bring back that so if you go pen icon you can then go full edit mode so like my engine start engine it is set the r key so i can't just start my engine by clicking motor just so you can also customize this thing as you like if you want to um, if for people that want to like fully customize it you can go ahead you can add your own buttons you can add text you can add a bunch of things on this thing you can scale it um, but I like the community stuff because like I said I'm a lazy person um, <laughs> but probably if I have a lot of time and like really want to be funny on oh I w act, want actually all of this other stuff so this is my ETS setup. So I click on the engine one. So there it goes. And so basically inside. So everything will light up. Um, just make sure. Just want to check something. Probably will pick it up. Um, some of them don't automatically pick up that some of the controls like some of your stuff is active I have noticed I'll show you in the uh, uh, American truck simulator ATS that some of them automatically switch on because it's already on but here we go starting up the truck so engine and then start the motor see like the brakes the park brake is on but on the tablet it's not on so what I do is put it on, uh, pause the game put it on and then yeah, it works um, some of them like I said is finicky some of them doesn't pick it up 
uh, don't don't know why um, the lights you can see the lights so there's the lights it also shows you uh, like dashboard um, then I have also like there's the engine brake you can put on the engine brake put it on toggle and then you can set the check on the tablet where I'm clicking set the intensity of it this is to change your dashboard there in the front this button I'm now is to change the dashboard um, then you have your normal menu ones your garage menu you, you have your escape you have jobs you can't see it now because it's behind the tablet also the advisor to take it away you have this one to show you the map as well you have your different cameras you can set up set up mine like this backward looking one this is cabin one and then also the windows are set up accordingly in press it automatic and one i also like is the because they are they are down you can lift your wheels And lift your truck, Blow it, and press both at the same time. Very nice. You have your differential lock, um, and then also this button for decoupling and coupling. That, that is it. So let me quickly jump into the ATS and I'll show you the ATS one. And also, uh, just before I jump in, um, so if you guys are like wondering, okay, well now what happens if I forget to switch on the tablet? So it would usually just say automatically switch. There you go. There's the pop-up. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we are now in ATS. This is not the one I use, but it automatically switched to this one, as you saw just before we popped into the game. Um, um, I just had, I just have this one because it looks nice. It also shows you on the map where you are exactly, and if I look at the map, I am in Fresno, so, which is very nice. Um, so with the one I'm using is this one. This one automatically picks up that. The uh, engine is on. Is weird. Okay, so it still picks up that the engine is on. So I've just quickly switched it to the correct one, so I can switch it off. Go, parking brake. There it is. So if I want to switch it on, I just there. Hold down the start button. It's on. And that lights. Beacon. If you're wondering why the lights, so just click it twice because you have your little lights and then your main lights. There's your brights. Um, that's the hazards. That, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is for when you have the H shifter um, and you're driving an 18 speed truck. So you put on the splitter and then uh, these are the hints. Uh, basically um, engine brake the flock and then uh, I don't have a trailer at the moment but this one should work I can lift my wheel I can lower the the windows there the window goes uh, wipers that's and this is the increase the intensity of the retarder um then i've got the bumper ca the bumper cam in front the cab cam fire cam and then this is just to cycle the cameras uh, there's your rear cam for reverse your mirrors are on your cab cam I'll bring close the window lower the wheel um navigation got your navigation over here it's behind 
a tablet again. I'm sorry. A cruise control is here with that. Uh, it even shows you the damage if you click on the damage thing. Um, this. Oh, this is the retarder. So you just hold down and it will retard a break. Um, usually I should actually make this. Uh, should actually make this a toggle. Um, but yeah, you can basically increase with this, which is fine. And then yeah, you've got your quick save, you've got your dashboard. You can change. It just yeah changes your dashboard. It, uh, that one. I have not set up this one yet, so I have not, not sure if everything is correctly, but the uh, horns are there. Yeah, that one is different. The clock is there. Um, but yeah, that's a basic it. Um, if you guys have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below and I will try and help where I can. Uh, once again, uh, so sim dashboard, install it on the PC. Uh, put it on the PC, do the modify game for the ATS and ETS. Uh, I have not set up the other games so far. You can even set up for farming simulator. Um, get the app on the tablet, connect the tablet to um, what you can also do. Make sure the tablet and your PC is on the same network. That, that's how the two dashboards are connecting to each other because it's basically a server. So then they connect to each other and you can uh, do the same network. Uh, they're not connecting to the cable. The only thing that's connecting to the cable is this uh, overlay that I have, this uh, screen capture. Yeah. So this is the tablet in itself. So yeah. quickly show you if I minimize the tablet. There, there's the tablet. So tablet is here. You can fully you can control your tablet from here as well um from the pc so yeah and then basically also just on the on obs itself you just do a window capture and then put it wherever you want yeah like i said any other question oh yeah and then scrappy is uh well is scrcpy is the program called i'll put all the links in the description but yeah like i said any questions um you might have leave it in the comments and i will try and help where i can thank you so much uh hope you have a wonderful day cheers peace out